Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds Living Lovely, and before I get started with the tutorial today, which will be how to wash your makeup brushes, I showed you how to wash off the makeup from your face, now I'm going to show you how to get the makeup off your brushes. But before we get started with that, I'm just going to take a few seconds to talk about my current fitness regimen. So lately I've been doing some power walking around the neighborhood in the park and just trying to consume more vegetables and water. And that's all I'm doing right now. Haven't seen any noticeable results yet, but of course when I do, I'll give you an update. So now let's get started with the tutorial and I'm going to talk about the products that I'm going to be using first. And you only need really three things. Well, four things if you include water. So the first thing is some olive oil or any oil similar to olive oil. Really, this is just to help you remove makeup from your brush as well as moisturizing your brushes. So this kind of softens the bristles and helps maintain the youthfulness of your brushes, bristles. So olive oil is important and you don't need much, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And you're going to need paper towel to put the olive oil on and you swirled your brush in the olive oil and the paper towel. And lastly, you are going to need baby shampoo and I'm just using a no-name brand it's Walgreens no specific no Johnson & Johnson or anything like that just using Walgreens baby shampoo and you can use any baby shampoo of your choice I just chose to use this one and of course as I said before water so now let's get started with the tutorial first thing you want to do is put on some gloves so I guess that would be another thing you need some gloves to protect your hands. You could use your hands if you would like. I choose to use gloves, so it's not a necessary tool. It's not, that's why I didn't list it in the beginning, but I prefer to use gloves. So now I'm gonna redirect the camera. Okay, so now, I hopefully you can see this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle a little on my paper towel here and I'm going to take one of my brushes and I'm just going to rub my brush in the olive oil like so and as you can see the makeup is coming off. And like I said earlier this just assists and getting the makeup off your brushes as well as conditions your brushes bristles so that is important for the life of the brush so now I'm just going to take a little more of that off. same olive oil pick a different spot on my napkin and I'm going to take another brush get it in there really good now I'm not going to do all my brushes I just want to demonstrate a couple of them to you so you can get the gist of what I'm talking about and how to do this process yourself at home okay and so now after you've done that you just want to turn on your water and you want to use warm, lukewarm water. So you just get that to the temperature that you want it. Not too hot, not too cold. Put a little bit of your baby shampoo in your glove. Take your brush, rub it in the shampoo. Okay. And I like to swirl it in there really good. Then I add a little water. It's 
see how it's getting all soapy and sweaty. You can see that. You don't have to do it for very long. And then just rinse it under the water in your sink. Rinse it really good. And once it is thoroughly rinsed, you can place it on some paper towel, kind of shake the bristles back, and get off any excess water. And just place that there until you are done with all your brushes and you're ready to start the drying. Session. So I'm just going to show you one more time. I'm going to take my baby shampoo and the other brush and I'm just going to swirl that in the baby shampoo as so. Now I'm going to take a little water, put it on the bristles and swirl it again. Really get it in there, really working in that shampoo. You can even press on the bristles a little bit like I am with my thumb and my fingers. Working it in still. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to rinse it under the water. Make sure to rinse it really good, get all that soap out. Press it a couple times. If you see any soap come out, then you know you need to rinse it again. And just keep on rinsing it until all, all the soap is out of the brush. You, do, you don't want any soap residue in your brushes. So now that all the soap is out, I'm just squeezing the excess water out. Like so. And then I'm taking that paper towel. And I'm going to swirl and get some more of that water out. And now the next and last step is to take a dry towel, an old one. As you can see, it's old. It has stains on it and everything. And just roll it up on one end like so. And place it down on the cabinet like such. Take your brushes and lean it up against the part that you rolled up like this. As you can see, the bristles are pointed downward and the base of the brushes are leaned up against the part of the towel that I rolled up. And the purpose of this is so that Anything in the water that has come up into the uh, metal portion or the plastic portion of your brush continues to go down the bristles and leaves the brush completely and then the brush completely dries. So you always want to have your brushes drying in an angle like this. So that's it and that's all there is to it. You would do the same thing with your beauty blender, except it doesn't matter how you dry it. Just put it on the towel with the rest of your brushes after you've cleaned it. And with the beauty blender, you really don't need to use the olive oil. You just need to wash it really good with some baby soap. And you're done. And that's it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in and please stay tuned for my next video which will be a lovely and mysterious gray smoky eye. Alright, bye for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.